Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make Italian risotto. It is a creamy dish made out of rice. It is full of veggies. You can do any veggies of your choice. I'm doing a mushroom risotto over here. So of course, mushrooms are a must. The general components are onion and garlic being the key ingredients. And it totally depends on the variations you want to play with. You can use any veggies of your choice. I am simply using some carrots and cherry tomatoes apart from mushrooms. So now let's begin. So all you need is one medium sized onion, wild mushrooms, you can use any sort of mushrooms, I am using wild mushrooms over here and some cherry tomatoes, one carrot, some lemon juice, 8 to 10 uh, garlic pods and two fine chopped green chilies and the rice have been soaked for around half an hour, that's it, you can use red rice as well, brown rice as well. So we do have particular rice for making risotto but then the thing is I was, I'm just using uh, regular home rice that we have at our home and that's it you can use any veggies of your choice but it's you know mainly mushroom since it's mushroom risotto I will be using this for flavor this for flavor okay this is basic when you are doing a risotto but uh, the add-ons here are from my side cherry tomatoes and carrot for that enhanced flavor so you have to thoroughly wash your rice ideally it's cooked in chicken broth i don't have chicken broth as of now so we'll be using normal water to cook our rice and then i have these chicken cubes over here it's same thing uh, i will be using normal water and i'll be adding this chicken cube you can get it easily on any store and one more thing you have to add on here is this fresh cream and usually they use parmesan but i don't have parmesan as of now and i think it's like quite expensive for an indian household so we'll do a normal cheese i don't have cubes as of now so i'm using slices but definitely you can use processed cheese cubes so one more thing, if you are vegetarian, you get similar uh, vegetable cubes, like they are also readily available uh, again in Maggie. And uh, instead of using vegetable broth, you can use vegetable cubes as well. So yeah, it can be done completely vegetarian as well. I just realized that instead of using these slices, since I don't have cheese cubes, I think I should be using this. But this is going to be more better for, you know, that sticky feeling uh, rather than using these slices so we'll be using our cheese dip over here but uh, you can use processed cheese cubes grated nicely so we need to have that cheesy flavor in the rice yeah and this is for you know vegetarians uh, which i was talking about like these chicken stock cubes you have vegetarian cubes as well i'll show you how it looks and it's readily available on any store and if you don't find it you can order it online so this is almost like 40 45 bucks for 10 cubes or something like that okay it's 35 for 10 units it's called Rusato and it's usually cooked in a pan that people have in abroad. We are using normal vessels. So I have used olive oil plus butter over here. Now you'll be adding your chili and garlic. We'll be adding our onions now. Once it becomes a little translucent, we'll be adding our carrots to it. By the time I'm heating my nonstick over here, I'll be adding butter to it and then sorting my mushrooms with garlic powder and salt and pepper. I'll be adding my carrots over here. And here, let the mushrooms cook till they are crisp and down on outside. Then after a while, we'll be adding our salt and pepper. So here goes my salt and pepper and I'm using this. This is a mix of garlic powder and Italian herbs. Uh, you can use any Italian herbs of your choice. So I'll be giving it a mix and then let it cook until all the water evaporates. I have added cherry tomatoes over here because if I'll be directly adding it to risotto, so what will happen, it will turn all mushy and it won't be of any use but if you are sorting it um, in a different pan you might get you know that complete structured look 
the veggies are almost done here goes in our chicken cube and some water and let it come to a boil the chicken cube already has some salt now we'll be adding our spices you'll be using salt gently and if it's required you can add more but make sure you are not adding too much in the starting itself and some pepper and some garlic powder onion powder and italian herbs of your choice also it's done and i have switched off the flame adding in the rice now so cook it on medium flame so the rice are little sticky we don't want that biryani sort of thing over here it is more towards khichdi kind of thing and i am an ardent lover of pizza pasta sauce so i'll be using one uh, tablespoon over here but you can just skip it but i love the flavor so i'll be adding it so i also have chili oregano sauce i'll be using this as well because i want it to be like a bit towards pizza kind of thing but you can totally skip these two sauces and go it for like the classic one but i'm adding pizza pasta sauce and chili oregano sauce over here at this stage when it's like almost 75% cooked i'll slow down the flame like to lowest flame i'll add in my cheese dip and lemon juice and cream and let it simmer for around 20 minutes on lowest flame covered give it a good mix and cover it and let it simmer for around 20 minutes like you would do with biryani so it's all sticky and mushy we don't want rice to fluff up so i'm using a measure over here the reason is the rice are little fluffy and of course i am a sucker for looks so i wanted to look completely like that of risotto and i was not having those rice so simply i'll be mashing it and then covering it and simmering it for around 20 25 minutes and we are done now we plate it enjoy it warm i have topped it with some jalapenos olives basil leaves some mint some parsley and a little bit of oregano you can team it up with a chilled beer or a glass of wine 